Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have any sacred stone. Good morning, good morning. It's Wayne with HalfToFlip.com. It's Thursday. All right. What are we doing today? Um, we pretty much caught uh, everything caught up on uh, pictures yesterday. Uh, wife did one tote last night, so the, I do have a tote. But uh, I want to get some of this stuff knocked out um, and dwindle the stack down a little bit because it needs to be done. <laughs> so one thing, too, I need to do is we put away what we photographed yesterday. Uh, it hasn't been double-checked and verified yet to be put away in the totes. So um, that's going to get done today, like right now. And then um, I did start – ooh – so I did start trying to uh, label these, and uh, I see some some of them are already peeling down. So um, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do one shelf and see how well it stays. I might have to come back here and press these really good because I was just rushing through them to get them done. So um, that might not work. I don't know. It looks like a lot of them have popped down. So, um, trying to get these labeled and done, there isn't much I can do because of the size of the uh, wood. I don't want to go any um, smaller because I don't want them to fall off. So, at least all the tops seem to be staying. But um, I'm getting them numbered. Uh, there was 272 locations. So this one wall is 272 locations, all for um, shoes. As soon as I get these labeled um, and I find some kind of source for shoes, I want to fill this sucker up as soon as possible. Um, I might go ahead and try to get the shoes underneath today done too. Uh, after I get, I'm going to try to get at least 30 of these done. Um, that's at least processing the minimum of 15 of each one that I wanted to do. So. Um, I want to try to get that done. I want to make sure this board stays where it should be. Um, I only photographed nine yesterday and ten. Uh, I got pre-drafted for my wife. Um, we did get finish the one tote, uh, get it taped off so you can tell exactly um, where, and she'll know that that is the stuff that actually goes inside the house. And then I... Um, taped off some of my stuff over here too. I want to tape off underneath here, but I want to get different color um, tape for under there. But I did tape off for the tote there too. Um, I was going to buy colored totes, but I have come to the conclusion that most of these grays here are 18 gallons. I only have two that are the 30 gallons. Um, I'm going to take those 18 gallons and I'm going to switch them with these. And that way I can color code everything but the two big gray bins. And I'll probably take those gray bins and use them as like um, the hard good stuff uh, underneath the seat or underneath the table. Um, that way all of those eight will be the colored. And I have, I have some more colored on this side too. So I have plenty of that color. I even have a few colors here I can steal. Uh, if I want to um, color coat something else, um, that is definitely there. So I'll have black, gray, and then uh, that teal um, as actual functioning uh, colors for processes. Um, again, it's visual. It's so that you can come in here and just visually see. gives you a good understanding of where you are all the time without actually having to look through whatever said items are to get a handle on um, where you're lacking or where uh, I need to focus heavily on. So um, I do need to figure out some way of getting processed uh, shoes or unprocessed shoes in because if I'm going to start filling up this board here, I don't want them just collecting everywhere. So like right now I have some underneath the table, I have some beside um, the... the um, Pack shelf, there's under there some, under there some. I have some over there, I have some over there too. So um, 
I definitely got to get a handle on that. I want to I want to get a designated area so that when shoes come in, I can start putting them all into one area. And then of course, I want to get the um necktie area together and do it. We sold another one today, which is good. Um a little frustrated with the tie situation. So I got about 72 out there. Uh, so every month it cost me about $7.20 to relist. Um, I am not making $7.20 uh, a month on ties yet. So um, I'm not 100% sure uh, the lifespan of ties in eBay that I'm going to last anymore. Um, one concerning factor uh, everything's boxed in eBay branded material. So if I move them over to a different platform, yeah. So unfortunately, that's just what it is. So um, I can send them over a Poshmark. The only problem is it's only costing me $3 to ship them through PayPal or for eBay, and it's going to cost six something for the buyer to ship them through. Um, Poshmark, but I think it'd be, um, better to have them over on Poshmark financially for me because they're not moving over there whatsoever. And it's not like I don't have a ton of ties to process. So there's probably another, I don't know, 250, 300 ties that need to be processed and done. So um, I definitely am getting some kind of idea of what is selling on um, eBay. So what I need to do is move, I think the remaining of these 70, some over, um, highly graphic, detailed, um, and vintage, high-end vintage sell very well. I sold all those immediately when I put them out. Um, right now I have just the standard and all of these that I have here, uh, was a vintage lot. So all of these, um, are old ties. So the style is definitely, if you're looking for an older style, these are definitely not modern ties whatsoever, which could be an issue too. So, um, for me, seven bucks every month to keep them out there, uh, just for these. I don't have the other 200 out there. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move all those over on Posh and see how uh, those 70 do on Posh. And then that'll open me 70 slots over on store two uh, or store one. Um, that will uh, free up some more room for new and upcoming products so that I don't go too much over that thousand cap right now. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I want to get our measly couple orders done. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I don't know if it's anybody or everybody, but um, my uh, YouTube's about a week off from everybody else's. So what I'm seeing now is everybody's just a little bit slow right now. You know, rolling into fourth quarter, everybody gets excited, and then <clears throat> right now. So... Um, Got two orders today, had two orders yesterday, two orders the day before. So um, very, very slow week this week, which is really, really sucky when you're starting to put out um, a lot of product. You would think that it would have the opposite effect, uh, but it is not. So um, it's time to double down, uh, get off here, and really pump out some product and uh, get some dimes rolling in my pocket. So um, as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then, I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.